Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how I make this pastel theme notion setup. Also, I will share some ways on how you can level up or how to create a more aesthetic notion setup. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So first is open notion. Click the three dots at the corner to choose the style you want. And you can also choose whether you will use a small or a large text, also if you want to set the page at full width. Next, you can now add a title to your page. And then click the empty with icon option. And I will go to Pinterest and search for the photo. And you can add any photo, just make sure that it sticks with your theme. So here I just search for some pastel images on Pinterest. Then you can search for some pastel GIFs, or you can just place a JPEG or PNG image format. Download some images you want to add to your page. And now I will go back to Notion. So click this icon and you can upload an image from your device or add the link to the photo. You can also add a cover to your page. And again, you can either take photos from their gallery, upload one from your device, place a link, or look for a photo from Unsplash. So you can reposition the image, and I added some pages I will be using. I placed here my personal ACADs and YouTube pages. Going back to the home page, I'll link the pages I just added. And here, since I want to place them side by side, click on the six dots, drag it, and place it beside the first line until you will see this vertical blue color. And it will just automatically create a column. So this is basically the process on how you can add a column on Notion. In the first portion of this page, I will add a daily reminder. And if you want to apply a different font style to a text, you can visit the fancy text generator. I will add the link below and here you can now type the text you wish to change its font. And on the other side, you can see here different font styles you can apply to the text. Choose the one that you like, then copy and paste it to Notion. I will repeat that process. I also do this on my weekly to-do text. And again, I added another column here. Make sure that a vertical line will appear to set a column on your page. I'm just making some adjustments here and you can also adjust the column size. Next, we will go to individe.co and here they have plenty of widgets that you can add to your Notion page. So I chose the clock widget, and then you can also choose a clock type that you want. You can also set other preferences, and there is an option that you can add or choose your preferred color. So after you modify it, click on the link below, go back to Notion, paste the link, click on create embed, and now you have your clock widget on your Notion. I also place this on the other column. Then here I will add some text under the weekly to do. I think it would be nice to have another kind of font style. So what you can do is just go to the fancy text generator again and then type the days of the week. And you can now copy the font style you want. So I will place this under the weekly to do column. And then I just added another column. Repeat this process and until you have this format. Also, I prefer to add the text in the middle. So you can just add some spaces before the text until it will be aligned in the middle. Click on the six dots before the line and click on the color option. Choose the background color you want or you can just change the font color of the text. I then darken the text and repeat the process for the remaining days. Add a to-do feature under the text to easily cross the task after you're done. 
Repeat this until you add a to-do box to all days. So if you want to add a calendar, open Gridfiti and choose the style you want. We have other widget designs here that you can use. Highlight the widget, go to your Notion page, and paste it. You can also adjust its size. Next, I decided to add a photo under it. I suggest using a photo that is under your theme to have a cohesive page. I also did this personal section under the clock widget. And then I just repeated the process by copying the font style of the text on the text generator. And now I will show you how you can add this to your page. First is to add a gallery view database on your Notion page. And then it will ask you to select the data source, click on new database, and then you will have a blank pages here. You can type your course or grade here and then click on page 1, type the subject name, delete the other features included that you will not use, and now you can search for some background photos on Pinterest. So after you save a bunch of photos, go back to Notion and click on Add Cover. Choose the image you prefer and reposition it. Next is to click on this three dots and then go to layout, set your preference in the card view, and choose the page cover option. You can also turn on the fit image option. Next is to click on the subject page again and here you can arrange or add some features you want to include. Add your notes if you want, some announcements, or you can compile all of your assignments or tasks here. I will make this page simple. I'm adding some toggle list so you can add your topic or notes if you want. Under the toggle list, I added some blank pages and I will just repeat this process until the second sem portion. You can definitely add your version depending on what works for you. I then set another column and you can place your performance task, some assignments or links you want to take note of. I just added some background color so that it will not be too plain and add some more features you want depending on your needs or wants. After you create your first subject page, this will serve as a template and we will now duplicate that page and then adjust or edit the subject name depending on your subjects or courses. Also, do not forget to change the cover page and yes, this is what it looks like. I will go back to Individed Co. I will choose the countdown widget. I just set the time to the last day of our final exams and you can also customize it by selecting the color you want. After that, click on the link below, go back to Notion, paste the link, and click on Create Embed. You can also choose if you want to hide the database title or not. So here I just hide it, and then set the card size to small. Next, I decided to place this down to the other column. So again, make sure that a blue vertical line will appear. So I'm just making some adjustments here. Next, I added an ACADS goal side and set a background color on the line. If you don't like the default bullet style, you can go to this website, symbolcopy.com, and choose the bullet style you want. I will be using the simple circle bullet design and then paste it here on Notion. You can also embed your Spotify playlist and adjust its size. And before I proceed, I just want to share Canva Planner Maker. They have a bunch of nice and useful templates here, and you can use this also to stay organized. 
You can plan ahead your month using Canva's monthly planner, especially if you want it to be more customized than just using a plain calendar here in Notion. So after you have done all of the editing and customization here in Canva, you can save it as a photo and insert it to your Notion page or use the link to your planner and place it to Notion. And this is what my dashboard slash homepage looks like. Now we will proceed to the personal page and it's just the same process. Set a cover and a photo and start placing features or menus that you will use. You can add an about me section. You can set it like this or use a paragraph depending on your preference. Then I added another column here and I placed the goals section. And here I chose the board view option and again click on new database and you can now add your goals for the month and this year. So here I set a background color on this line and this will serve as our divider. Under that I added this finance tracker, you can add here your expenses, you can also add some properties, click on edit property. And under, you can add an option, example, I added for food, school, leisure, etc. And add a title on that property. If you want, you can add individual pages, but here I prefer them to be visible immediately so that it will be easier. But if you want, you can add individual pages where you can see your tracker, your subscriptions, etc. in a separate page. You can also include a default Notion template on your page. I used the habit tracker template and included it here. I just added some photos to have a pop of color and set a cover photo on the page. I will now go to the Akkad's page and you can add the subject gallery view table you add on your dashboard page. So I will just add a view here, select the gallery view. Add another column and add some links you want to include. And I also included this countdown from Endify. Below the subject table, I added another table where you can add your activities or tasks. I also added or adjusted some of its properties. Then I added a lo-fi playlist, some photos, and this top procrastinating quote. I will now add a class schedule at the topmost part. And it's just the same process with the weekly to-do. You just have to add some columns for each day and add the subject and time of your courses. You can add as many as you want and you can place a background color on each text. making some adjustments, and this is what it looks like. The last one is for the YouTube page. Repeat the process same as the previous pages, and I just added some tables here and some color. I place goals, milestones, and archive sections. If you want to know how you can add a custom template to your page, I will add a link below to it and you can go check it out if you want. And yes, that is all. So here is a walkthrough of my Notion template. And yes, that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!